constructed neurons. Okay. Okay. Please. Shall I go? Okay. Hi, everyone. Uh, the talk of today will be not uh, uh, about the functional information that we've seen today, but more on what lies beneath the structural information. Uh, as we know, the data sets of anatomically reconstructed neurons can come in, uh, in different flavors. Here, for example, we have uh, the <laughs> data set from zebrafish larvae. These are published online, uh, made with through fluorescent microscopy. And here we have the one of the Drosophila melanogaster with uh, the EM. These data sets can come either with the connection between the neurons or not. In the latter case, uh, one can just define a connection between two distinct neurons by through a tunable proximity range. All the connection in the brain, from the neuron in the brain, can be conveniently displayed in an adjacency matrix. Okay, this one here, in which the black spot that you see are the connection between the neurons. Okay, so far so good, but what if we are interested in looking whether there are uh, some structure in, uh, in our uh, adjacency matrix? Maybe neurons that are more connected together in respect to the other neurons. And uh, by applying the Leiden algorithm that you see here, we're just looking for this, we are looking for this. And uh, you can see on the right, regarding for the zebrafish, that uh, in 3,000 neurons, uh, we can identify seven different communities of neurons more connected together in respect to the other. So, what uh, is interesting is that uh, these uh, communities, this group that we identify through the application of the algorithm, can, uh, can recapitulate some circuits, can uh, match some circuits that have been uh, uh, also functionally characterized. As you see here, we have uh, this one, which is reported in literature here for the vestibular octo, uh, ocular motor reflex, and this one for the zebrafish, which is the main visual pathway. So, in conclusion, uh, I want to t tell you just one last interesting thing, is that uh, I, I lie to you a little bit regarding this one, because you can see in light blue here that there are some neurons from the cerebellum in this community. Uh, what's interesting is that uh, we know from literature that the cerebellum is involved in this behavior, but in literature for the zebrafish, this circuit is not characterized. So this method can also foster further research, further studies. Thank you for your attention. Thank you very much.